Hello everyone, I'm Patrick from Freenam and today we're going to take a look at how to connect your Web3 domains to your uh, website builder's websites. Um, I'm going to give you three examples today, which are builders that allow you to use a trial period, a 7 or 14 uh, trial period, so you can try it for yourself without paying any money. Also, you will find a link to our blog post which explains how to connect uh, Type Dream to your uh, Web3 domains. You're going to find the link right below. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here we are. Um, today I'm gonna show you exactly how to connect your Web3 domain to um, Website Builder. Uh, most of the Website Builders will give you uh, an A record and a C name record that you can use to connect your domain. Um, you gotta find out yourself if the particular builder that you want to use actually works with Web3 domains. I'm gonna show you three uh, example today. We're gonna have card. Dot co. We're going to have Pudgy.co and we're going to have Duda. So I'm going to show you where you can find the A records and the C name records in order to connect your domain. So to start, the first thing you want to make sure is that you have uh, your domains, that they are minted because otherwise, of course, you cannot manage the uh, records which are managed by blockchain. So uh, for today's video, I'm going to use these uh, three domains. So it's going to be mywebsite.freenameio, affordable.holo, and patpat.holo. I'm going to show you real quick where to find the records. They're right here. It's the first page when you go to manage. As you can see, you have many types of records. What we are interested in today is mainly the A record and the C name record. Okay, so the first one we're going to take a look is Card, a very nice website editor that has a free trial to start with. So if you want to use it just to try out the web tree, you can do so without paying any money. And once you created your new website with your user, you just go to publish, which is this icon right here. And as you can see, I already selected publish to a custom domain which is affordable.hodl, which is one of my Web3 domains. I just clicked on publish on a custom domain and entered the name of the domain right here. And then the website is going to show you the information we need. As you can see, we have two record A's and one C name record. The one I'm interested in is the first one. This is going to work with uh, any other builder. Uh, if there are two uh, A records, please use the first one. It usually works. If it doesn't, contact the uh, assistance of the particular builder, but usually you just can get the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I am going to go to the website that I, to the domain, sorry, that I used here, which is affordable.hodl. I'm going to go ahead to uh, affordable.hodl. Here we go. We go to manage. We are on the DNS records and I'm just going to paste the number here. I'm going to click on save on blockchain. It's going to ask for my MetaMask and I'm just going to go ahead and confirm the MetaMask transaction. Okay, so that is done. The first one is connected. Let's go to the second example, which is uh, Pudgy. Uh, here I have my website and I just go to settings. Again, I uh, put my uh, domain here, which is my website.freename.io and I click on show instructions. The show instruction will uh, show me the IP to put into the A record and the string to put into the C name record. So I just uh, copy the IP, which is the one that really matters. And I go ahead on free name. I go on the domain that corresponds to it, which is my website. Freenam.io, I go to manage, go to the A record, paste, and same thing that I did before, I save on blockchain. And I confirm the transaction with MetaMask. Now that the second is connected, we can go to the third one. Again, um, this process works with almost every uh, builder. You just have to make sure that it works with Web3 domains. Uh, in order to do that, just read the material on the website builder page or contact uh, their customer service. Let's go to the last one, the Duda site editor. Again, I have my website done. Let's say I'm happy and I want to connect it. I just go to SEO and settings. I have site domain right here. I'm going to go ahead and change site URL. I'm going to keep the patpat.hodl, which is my Web3 domains, of course. I'm going to click on save and now it's going to show me the information that I need to put. So again, I have the C name and again, I have the at or a. So I'm going to take the first one. I'm going to copy it, go back to free name go back to my domain. Here we go, patpat.hole. I go to manage. 
and I put on my IP, which was already there. This is just a demonstration. I click on save, authorize with MetaMask, and I'm good to go. Okay, so the next step would be to check. Um, I'm gonna check the Duda that we just added for last. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to my free name installer, which is right here. You can load it in the link below. And uh, as of now, I'm using my default DNS. Let's switch to uh, free name DNS. So we are able to navigate directly in Web3 domains. I'm gonna go back to Chrome and I'm gonna try patpat.holo. Remember, you always have to put the slash at the end in order for it to work. And there we go. As you can see, it is the Duda website that I created. So now my Web3 domain is connected and working and I can navigate it using our DNS uh, either from desktop or from mobile. Okay, so that was it. Pretty fast, pretty easy. Uh, please keep in mind that when you update your records on your domains, it might take uh, a few minutes to up um, half an hour. It depends on the situation of the blockchain for them to actually upgrade. So if you try and it doesn't work right away, don't worry, just wait an hour or so and it's going to be working perfectly. So that was all and I see you guys the next one.